Hey, Robin's got some plastic conditioner. Let's try it. Still think the blow lamp worked nice though. Smells like Ruby Boy. Is that it, or would you like to rub it? Soak it in. Alright, apart from where we melted it, we'll blow that. It's better anyway. Sheep update. Sadly, it's passed away in the night. But that's what happens where there's livestock, there's dead stock. We've put this stuff on now and it's, it actually looks really well. It still looks better though where we heated it with the blow lamp or the heat gun. If you go around to the other side and see how grey that looks now, it looks Looks really grey and faded. So it's definitely good stuff, that. Now, I'd call that a front fender. And when I was growing up, if you had a fast tractor, when I say a fast tractor, I mean a 40k tractor, you had to have front fenders on it. It was an option in the price list, front fenders. Now, loads of people were taking the piss yesterday because I was saying that we took the back fender off and we've got to paint the fenders. And they're like, oh, you're American. But if that's a front fender, surely that's a back fender. But everyone's like, no, it's a mudguard. But... I don't know they've always the fronts have definitely always been fenders in my lifetime even in the uk so what do you call them i suppose it will see the geographical difference in what you call the front fenders on a tractor with, with this uh, video today i've got some high temperature black paint for this so i'm going to try rubbing it down now and put it on and see what it looks like quite good this sander of andrews they're taking all the heavy rust off anyway. Got a little bit of a line there though. Sanded it down now and I've got it pretty smooth where it was bad rust to normal, to like sort of normal rust. And I've got this direct to rust stove and barbecue paint high temperature. So we'll try painting it with this and see what it looks like. Oh, it's black. Should look all right, that. Give it a few coats. Really pleased with that. It's like, it seems to dry nearly instantly. So I'll just build it up a bit and see what it looks like. dry nearly instantly there's no runs and then it's obviously it's it's the factory kind of finish because when it comes out the factory it's not shiny it is sort of like a matty gray finish so hopefully when them little bits there dry in a few minutes it'll look good three minutes later not too bad you see there's a bit of marble in there where it, it had rusted but that's far better than it was no no don't rev it up i was just trying to show people how quiet it was Look how quiet that is. That's a nice engine that. Right, well you can rev it now. The exhaust not arrived for it yet, but it's on its way apparently according to the uh, email of Adam. Just got the uh, bonnet open now. We're gonna see what's wrong with the rev counter because we think it gets the feed off the alternator. But all the wires do look to be on. The rev counter's actually driven off a cable not off the alternator but for some reason we can't get it to work oh yeah and it snapped on it there you go that's yeah. great yeah the cable snapped not come out or not no. the pliers yeah. that like bendy bit should be in there and then that spins on this little drive on the end of the cam is it crankshaft or something spins that spins the cable and then makes a dial and in the cab then spin and go up so it's probably done more hours than we think it has because that could have been snapped for a while mind you actually it looks quite a fresh break doesn't it the bit in the last bit looks like it's only just gone can't see on the camera can you 
the cable seized inside so we just put a load of oil down it try and get it spinning and then we might cut it and see if we can join it together or pull it out and braise it because we want to see how fast it's revving now without waiting for a new one because the rev counter's not working we've now downloaded an app as a taco meter because i used to have one but i can't find it so i've downloaded an app put a white blob on the bottom pulley there and we're going to film it and see what revs it says it's doing with the app Gonna change this perspex here for the proper piece of glass. So I'm gonna soak the window, scrape all this silicon off. I've just undone the handle now, and then I'll just take this off. And then take this out, put the other one in, silicon it in. Just put some furry liquid on it now, or wash it up liquid, depending on where you live and what you want to call it. Get these scrapers now and scrape the silicon off. Easy. than I thought actually it's well easy got that one out now just need to get the silicon off the edges and then clean all the soap off so that the new one will stick right I've cleaned most of the silicon off this now got the new piece of glass and I've got some masking tape and I'm going to mask off a line so that the silicon doesn't end up all over the other piece of glass right I've scraped all the glue off I've pulled the seal off on the inside here so that we've got it'll sit flush and then I've masked either side of the joint and then I'm going to fill it now with clear silicon let it go off and then hopefully when I peel the silicon off I'll have a neat joint without it all over the glass and the glass will sit flat we will to open the window pop the seal back in and it'll shut nice and tight is the plan I think I've done it all right. So I've masked either side. I put silicon right down the joint and then I've wiped it all the way up. So hopefully when it's gone off, I can just peel the tape off and this joint should just be a bead of silicon holding the glass in. Then I'll pop the seal back in. I don't know whether to go and have a go with the other side though. Because the other side is a little bit, bit of a mess. You see it's popping out here because it's not been set flat. It's just got a load of silicon on it. So I think while I've got the silicon out, I might scrape that off and try and sort that a bit better. But then again, I'm not sure if I've got enough clamps. I might just knead it up actually first and see. I've actually decided I'm not gonna do the other side until I know that that's definitely the right silicon and it's worked. I don't see why it won't because it looks factory standard when I pull that tape off, I'm hoping. But if the window falls out and then the other one falls out, I'll be annoyed. So I may as well just do do this one first, then when it's off tomorrow, I'll do the other one. Just realized, I don't know whether it should be ever so slightly wider, the gap, so that'll make the silicon have a little bit more flex. It might be too narrow. So again, another reason why it's better waiting for tomorrow. Also as well, where the eagle looked a bit rubbish, Robin had some tipex. So I've just done that for now, but I think I need to get some new stickers for the bonnet. Or do I leave it original? What do you think? Fairly unanimous. Ugh was fairly unanimous that it's definitely cool and some even said sub-zero so we'll put it on the cool one near near the sub-zero bit so there you go quad track is on it the other day i asked what was uncool and a few people did take the mickey but right i need sort of like at least five votes for one thing it's uncool and seriously uncool and we'll stick them on there i think someone had actually mentioned um, a hurleyman but i don't know so we'll stick them up because Hurleyman actually could be a Lamborghini as well if you wanted to paint it silver. You know, let me know and I'll stick some up because we've only got Cool and Sub Zero at the moment. Now, obviously, the clocks go back tonight, so that means that you get an extra hour in bed, but it also probably means that there's an extra hour of people being born, and that is why we've got 13 birthdays today. So there's hundreds of them. Well, there's, there's not, there's 13. One's a belated one for Bernard Croft because someone commented on YouTube a few days ago and I didn't see it. And also, um, where is he now? Chase Master said it was his birthday, but that's his YouTube name. I don't know what his real name is. And a lot of people do that, go, can I have a birthday shout out tomorrow? But the YouTube name is not the real name. So I can't do it, but yeah. So it's Lisa Gisby's birthday. Gunny, again, I think that could be a YouTube name. Katie Strachan, Ty Goodman, Maxwell Evans, Benjamin Williams, Cameron Boys, Dennis, Cody, 
Colin Brown, Ollie, which again might be a YouTube name, but then there's also Olin Haggerty or Haggerty's birthday as well. So happy birthday to all you lot. But if you're going to message me for birthday shout out, do it on Instagram. It's agricontract on Instagram is me. Or maybe on a, I'm on the same as well on Twitter because doing it in the YouTube comments, I don't always see them. I do try and read everyone's comment and reply to it as well, especially if there's questions. Anyway, I'm going for today now. Um, see if that stuff's set in the morning. I can't wait to peel it all off and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch another video, it's up there. If you want to subscribe, it's over there. Again, loads of new subscribers, probably down to the Farmers Weekly. So thank you, Farmers Weekly, and thank you, everyone that's watching. And if you are, tell me where you're watching from, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and if you've got this far, click like.